What is up guys? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So in today's video, I am going to be covering the top 5 most underrated off-meta weapons to use inside of the Battle Royale, which are heavily recommended according to my personal opinion. I am going to be ranking these 5 flawlessly balanced weapons based on their time to kill and their overall versatility in the battlefield, and I am going to be showcasing you the best gunsmith builds for each of these 5 amazing weapons. The entire thing may be a little bit longer, but the video and the loadouts will be extremely helpful for all of my fellow viewers. That's why, I am suggesting you to stick to the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the post notifications. And please make sure to hit the like button below, as this helps me a lot to make contents like this for you. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 5 spot, we have the PP-19 Bison. This is a fully automatic submachine gun, with moderate rate of fire, and reduced recoil. But it has slightly less accurate hip fire spread in its class. However, the Bison has pretty reliable damage with improved range, and it carries a large ammunition pool unlike the other submachine guns. The Bison has great ADS bullet spread accuracy, which makes this weapon a great hybrid alternative choice for close range engagements. Now, with a custom variant of this weapon, I have boosted the damage range and the hip fire accuracy to the maximum level. It is a pretty aggressive build, which mainly thrives in close to mid range engagements. Anyways, for the mods with this one, I am recommending you to use the hip fire boost mods, the long range mods, and the extended magazine mods to get the best results possible. Then, coming at number 4 spot, we have the Type 19, which is a brand new combat systemized assault rifle, weapon with a variety of modular attachments to adapt to different combat scenarios. This weapon is a redesign of the QBZ191, with improved ergonomics, ambidextrous usability, and better reliability across different environments. Performance-wise, it almost feels like the Krieg 6, with slightly better handling. Anyways, here is the best custom gunsmith build for this Type 19 assault rifle, which is highly compatible for medium to long range engagements. It is a suppressed loadout, with a great accuracy and recoil management, and this build comes with the classic red dot sight as well. Anyways, for the mods with this new assault rifle, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the precise shot mods, to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 3 spot, I have a close-range hybrid loadout for the PPSH-41, which is one of the fastest killing submachine gun to use inside of the Battle Royale. This submachine gun has a deadly combination of high damage and fast fire rate. And on top of that, it also has a pretty solid hip-fire accuracy and high-quality damage range, which is much higher than the weapons like the Fennec or the MAC-10. The biggest plus point is, the PPSH has significantly higher damage range than most of the submachine guns available inside of the Battle Royale, but the hipfire accuracy is slightly less dense if you compare it to the rest of the weapons. Here is the best custom gunsmith of the PPSH-41, which is highly optimized for close to mid-range battles. It has great hipfire accuracy, decent damage range, and improved mobility, which makes this build extremely powerful for the Battle Royale. Anyways, for the mods with this build, I am recommending you to use the hip fire boost mods, the long range mods, and the extended magazine mods to get the best results possible. Watch out. Airdrop incoming. Then, coming at number 2 spot, we have the HVK-30, which is a fully automatic assault rifle with high rate of fire, which is highly effective at medium ranges. 
the HVK-30 is one of the above average assault rifles, compared with other assault rifles, like the Krieg-6, the M4, or the Kilo-141. However, it is also one of the most user-friendly and easiest rifles to use. This assault rifle sports a decent time to kill at close to mid-range, with its default ammunition. Although the recoil pattern is obvious, it can be easily controlled, like the M13. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the HVK-30, which is highly compatible for mid-range engagements. It is a suppressed loadout, with pretty much zero recoil issue, and this build comes with the classic red dot sight as well. Anyways, for the mods with this assault rifle, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the long range mods, and the precise shot mods, to get the most effective results possible. And finally, coming at number 1 spot, we have the Bruin MK9, which is by far the best lightweight machine gun, the ground weapon selection of the Battle Royale. This is a high fire rate light machine gun, that trades off a moderate damage profile with the best accuracy in its class. This light machine gun has balanced stability and exceptional firing rate, which dominates in the medium to long range engagements. However, for being a heavy weapon, the reduced movement speed is still a large problem for many players, so this weapon is rarely seen to be used in the Battle Royale. Here is the best custom gunsmith build of this powerful light machine gun. This loadout is highly optimized for mid to long range battles. It provides you with great overall accuracy, amazing damage range, and improved recoil management, which makes this build more compatible than its ground variant. Anyways, for the mods with this Bruin MK9 build, I am recommending you to use the vertical recoil control mods, the precise shot mods, and the fast ADS mods, to get the best results possible.